So you have a VE Commodore, and like most VE Commodore owners that I've heard, uh, the stereo, the standard stereo is really bad. Even the premium system that I have here really is not very premium. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, you've got subs in the back and like seven speakers in the cabin, but it's got a lot of high end, but it, the high end really overwhelms a lot of the, the low end sounds. So I have two simple solutions that can improve the sound quality of your system, like with less than 10 minutes work and zero, zero costs. All right, so first one's over here on the front speaker, so I'll show that now. So it's really as simple as just removing this cover. Now it's just in with clips, so essentially if you can get your things behind there, you might even need a, need a screwdriver just to pry it up, but you can literally just pry it up. I already kind of had this slightly loose, but essentially just get in there. It's got a couple little tabs to lift it up. And there you go, the really crappy center speaker. So all you need to do, essentially, just unscrew that, unplug the cable, and then put the cover back on. And it will really cut out a lot of that mid to high frequency sounds that really just overwhelm the bass here. So the second adjustment I'm gonna do is just basically to the amplifier for the sub in the back here. We've got the two subs on the parcel shelf. Um, it's really just dialing it up because the amplifier set about 50%. There is um, a couple of other tutorials online how to do that. Um, but basically, I'll, I'll quickly show you down the back here anyway where it is. And uh, you, you can check out the tutorial with a bit more detail. Okay, so just on the other side of this panel is the amp. And if you just remove this, all of this, you can get to it. So just below those wires here, we've got the amp. And you can actually just take it out, it's just two screws. There's one here and one just down below. If you undo the top one, the bottom one slides out. But you don't really, I found you don't have to actually take this out to adjust it. You can um, reach your hand down and, and, and find the dial below. So if you just turn it, um, just have your stereo running so you can really hear when it's going up and down anyway. But you'll feel it, it's actually got some uh, click points through while you're turning it. So you can actually see when it's like 70, uh, yeah, 50% and then 75% 100% like I mean it'll stop turning when it gets 100% and so on so just turn it up um, I mean I've got mine set at 100% and I found that actually it works really well it doesn't distort uh, it sounds pretty good to me so again it's up to your preference any style of music but just uh, yeah just play around see what you like okay so there you have it two simple solutions that take what about 10 minutes of your time and zero cost whatsoever just to, you know, add some more lower frequencies and get rid of some of those overpowering high-end frequencies, which really do just ruin the sound. So, immediately, you'll, you'll notice an immediate difference. It's really worth the time to do, and you'll find, I mean, yeah, it would be nice to upgrade speakers too, but at least for 10 minutes of time and no cost, you can immediately improve your sound. So, it's worth doing, get stuck into it, you really can't go wrong.